Hello everyone, I'm Ron, Applications Engineer at Trotec Laser. Welcome to Trotec's Application Station, a video series showcasing the precision and versatility of our laser systems in a detailed testing process for our customers. We received one package containing two of five different wall plates for testing with our Speedmarker Fiber Galvo laser systems. The goal was to achieve a contrasting high quality mark on each using the files and instructions provided and compare the results of a 30-watt fiber and a 20-watt MOPA fiber laser source. We tested this application with our Speedmarker 30-watt fiber and Speedmarker 20-watt MOPA fiber Galvo laser systems. We started in the Speedmarker 30-watt fiber system. Because only one of each plate was available to test on for each system, we used the back of each plate for all our test marks. We used a test grid template built into the Speedmark software to help find settings that would produce a desirable color change on each plastic plate. We would then take the most promising marks from the test grid and try a couple of small tests of each, tweaking and adjusting as necessary to try and produce the best mark. Then, from those tests, we would then have one chance at the full-size final mark. For the stainless steel plate, we already had good annealing settings. We ran a couple of quick tests on the back of the part to ensure our Z-offset was set correctly, and then we ran the final result mark on the front. We used a cross-line fill pattern, which takes longer, but results in a deeper black than a standard single pass. We then went to the 20-watt MOPA system. MOPA allows the user to control the pulse duration and use a much larger frequency range. The result of these features is more capability when marking many materials, especially plastics. The test grids for the MOPA system are per different pulse duration settings. Because of this, we often tested multiple test grids on materials to find the best setting. We achieved much better contrasting marks using the MOPA laser compared to the standard fiber laser source. On the stainless plate, we tried to find a setting that would produce a black mark faster than the standard fiber. We ultimately used a traditional annealing setting. However, when testing the final mark, we noticed that the single pass mark was darker than after the cross line pass. This would indicate that either the material or focus setting needed a slight adjustment. Thank you so much for watching. Please reach out to us if you have any questions or comments and be sure to like and subscribe.